eye on not only you, but on the other side as well. Like I said, we are neutral. Okay, Thanks. and have a good day. Have a good day for it. Thank you. There they are. Here they come, chanting. No mine. Peaceful. No problems. The man in the gas station was just putting his thumb down. You can see that the reaction to that, there he is again, putting his thumb down. And they were waving back to him politely. That's great. Looks like they're going straight on 51. Here come the marchers. Protect the waters, not the polluters, they're saying. So we kind of narrow down here. Um, so we're on 2nd Street now. And uh, in Hurley, that's 51, turns into 2nd Street. Friendly guy has uh, stopped to give some refreshments, some whistles. What a guy, that's great. So a good friend in Hurley. And I, there goes the, the policeman. He's out there to direct traffic, presumably. And, uh, and also, and also presumably, presuming to uh, to get them into the right path. Uh, it looks like the policeman is being very cool about this, and uh, looks like the group is forming up peacefully. I hope they stay there. Well, that way, that would be good. They passed Bernard in Oak Street, and now they're coming up to uh, uh, Maple Street. And then they'll come to Silver Street and uh, turn right. All right. Just turn the corner onto Silver Street, uh, the renowned Silver Street in Hurley, Wisconsin. They're still chanting. This uh, street will be a real test, both for Hurley and for the marchers. It's a fairly narrow street, and so they will have trouble if uh, they block traffic, so they're going to have to be careful here. Hi, gentlemen. So here they come, some out in the street, some uh, on the sidewalk. Now they're meeting some people who are stopping to take pictures and to listen to the people on the street. The man who gave out the whistles with his, looks like, Trespassing area, their side yard. There's a man with his thumb down. A great uh, early police officer. Thank you, sir. Got some people. We got a reporter from the Globe. We also we also have people. Start with a chainsaw. Oh man. Here, a 
no problem. The people are being quiet, more or less, except for the group in front of the crash in, being being respectful. The, uh, the the marchers are trying to not to block traffic as best they can. This is a freaking Thank you again, Chief. Thank you. Now it looks like we're stopping here. Uh, they want to be careful that they don't uh, uh, they don't block traffic. And this person is not blocked, but is uh, showing the horn. And now the Chief is having to come over to push them back out of the way. So he'll have to, uh, he's, he's giving them a warning, a good warning. And now uh, the cars are coming through, he's guiding them through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now they're talking about whether they want to push them back to the sidewalk or not. Uh, now they're asking them to back, back out of the street. If they don't want to be in, uh, in violation of, uh, of the blocking uh, ordinances, they'll have to get back. Yeah, now we're, we're clear. They have obeyed uh, the instructions of the officers. Everything is peaceful. Cars are moving through. The crash-in people have gone quiet now that they're past. Uh, of course, they see the chief and the officer here. Uh, they know what they should be doing and what they should not be doing. So, uh, all is peaceful. Thank goodness for the peacefulness on both sides. I think the Hurley police is uh, are truly protecting all sides today. for the chief to come across and I'm sure he will explain to her as long as they're not blocking foot traffic that they're legal we'll, uh, we'll see 
see what's happening. The, uh, one of the uh, sheriff deputies has just gone down to try to get the uh, people down in front of the crash in to maybe go back in and to uh, do what they can to keep the peace. And uh, so the chief has uh, uh, apparently explained the situation uh, to the, uh, to the uh, folks uh, here in Hurley. And, uh, and, uh, and he's smiling now. I think maybe they're not, maybe they're not too... Uh, uh, there is a Michigan car that just honked. So that was not a uh, uh, anti-mine honk.